tone. Union struggles in Appalachia have a rich history, marked by significant challenges and victories. From the early 20th century, coal miners in the region fought for better wages, safer working conditions, and fair labor practices. Key events, like the Battle of Blair Mountain in 1921, highlighted the intense conflict between miners and coal companies. Over the years, union efforts led to improved working conditions, higher wages, and benefits like health care and pensions for workers. These struggles also brought about stronger labor laws and regulations, ensuring better protection for workers' rights. Ultimately, the perseverance of Appalachian unions has paved the way for a more just and equitable work environment for laborers across various industries. Unionizing service work in Sevier and Cock counties, Tennessee. Unionizing service work in Sevier and Cock counties, Tennessee, presents a multifaceted outcome that encompasses economic, social, and political dimensions. These counties, characterized by their strong ties to the tourism industry, have a labor market that is predominantly service-oriented. The introduction of unions in this sector would likely yield several predictable results. One of the immediate impacts of unionizing service work in Sevier and Kaka counties would be an increase in wages. Unions typically negotiate for higher pay, better benefits, and improved working conditions for their members. For service workers in these counties, many of whom are employed in tourism-related jobs such as hospitality, food service, and retail, this could mean a significant improvement in their standard of living. Higher wages would enable workers to spend more locally, potentially boosting the local economy. However, businesses might face increased operational costs, which could lead to higher prices for goods and services, or in some cases, a reduction in workforce to offset the increased expenses. Unionization could also bring about a stronger sense of community and solidarity among service workers. Unions provide a platform for workers to voice their concerns and advocate for their rights collectively. This can lead to an improved work environment, reduced employee turnover, and higher job satisfaction. Moreover, with better wages and benefits, workers might experience improved mental and physical health, leading to a more stable and productive workforce. On the flip side, there might be social friction between unionized and non-unionized workers, or between employees and employers resistant to unionization. This tension could manifest in workplace disputes or strikes, which might disrupt local businesses and services temporarily. However, such conflicts often pave the way for long-term improvements in labor relations and working conditions. Unionization efforts in Sevier and Cock counties could also have political ramifications. Historically, Unions have played a significant role in advocating for labor-friendly policies and legislation. A successful unionization movement in these counties could shift local political dynamics, encouraging more pro-labor candidates and policies. This might lead to improved labor laws and protections at the county or state level. Conversely, there could be resistance from local political and business leaders who view unions as a threat to business interests. This opposition might manifest in legal challenges or political campaigns aimed at curbing union influence. However, the increased political engagement of workers could lead to a more balanced representation of interests in local governance. While the benefits of unionizing service work in Sevier and Kaka counties are substantial, there are also significant challenges. The transient nature of the service industry, with high employee turnover and seasonal fluctuations, can make organizing efforts difficult. Additionally, the strong anti-union sentiment that exists in many parts of Tennessee could pose a formidable obstacle. Employers might also implement union-busting tactics, such as intimidation or the hiring of replacement workers to undermine union efforts. Workers must be prepared to face these challenges with resilience and strategic planning. In conclusion, the unionization of service work in Sevier and Cock counties, Tennessee, would likely lead to higher wages, better working conditions, and increased political engagement among workers. While there are significant challenges to overcome, the potential for improved economic and social outcomes makes unionization a compelling prospect for service workers in these counties. The journey toward unionization might be fraught with obstacles, but the predictable results suggest a more equitable and prosperous future for the service workforce in Sevier and Cock counties. Tone.
the call. One by one, we stand tall, side by side, hearts on fire.